before I start this video guys please go retweet both of these tweets I need you guys to do it please anybody who does it I will follow you guys back I will put you guys in the next video whatever you guys need me to do I will do it if you guys help me get a picture with these heat players please make sure you guys retweet it and also spam them to take a picture with me tweet at them and say at the 76ers game take a picture with Prince so just like I said in the last video I got playground ideas for you guys and I think these ideas will be complete game changers like I mean I oh y'all were looking at that oh that's yeah, just something like you know just sound like but anyways I, I feel like these ideas oh y'all are looking at the my fault man <laughs> that's my bad so anyways like I was saying I mean these I I'm wilding right now um, anyways, I feel like these ideas will be game changers into playgrounds and um, not just a game changer like D-Way come back to the heat. Even more, nah, it can't be more of a game changer than that. We're going to the finals. But anyways, these ideas I think could change the game for the greater good. Now I said these ideas, I said ideas similar to this last year, but since they have some sort of playground idea established already now, and I also heard that they are planning on expanding the playground. I thought that maybe this idea would work better than the one I had last year. Now that idea would be instead of having affiliations on the courts, which I, st I have no idea why they have them because I mean anybody can play on any court. I really don't even, I don't even memorize like which affiliation is which on which court. I kind of just say left or right to go to this one, but, but anyways, instead of doing it like that, we can have the first one be casual, kind of like this. We can have the second one be for like mid-level players, players who are not bad, but not crazy good. We can have them for higher level players on the other courts. And for the last one, that would be expert level players. So players like me, I'm, I'm sure D-Wade is really good at 2K too. So players like D-Wade, you know, people who are really good at the game can get the expert level one and be able to play up there. Now I know those are twos, but you know, you can change them to threes. And basically what that would do is that would eliminate come arounds, except for on like the lower level courts, because if somebody's really good, if a lot of people are really good and they can only play on one or two courts, then there's gonna be a lot of people waiting to get onto those courts. And it's gonna be more intense because you don't wanna have to get off and wait for another game to have to end for you to get on. I know a lot of you guys are saying, how do you determine who are the good players, who are the bad ones? I don't think it should be on rep or on, you know, this year we did the overalls. Don't think it should be on that. Because to be honest with you, anybody can buy their way to pass at least a second one. What I think it should be is, every time you play with people, if you decide to play with randoms or whatever it be, not your opponents, because I think that that would obviously be, if you lose to somebody, you're just going to keep on raking them down, you know, whatever, the game was cheating. I think you should be able to rate your teammates. It shows you at the end of the game how many points each teammate had, whatnot, if you want to rate them. If you choose not to, nothing happens. If you choose to, then what you say about the person determines what level they go to. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I could be good and somebody just hate on me and just decide to rep me down. Now, how often is that really going to happen? I know, I mean, maybe YouTubers, it'll happen to them when they're playing with subscribers, they want to troll them and put their uh, rep down. But I mean, for the most part, people who are good kind of have people to play with, like at least one person, you know, and we kind of pick up like an extra one or whatever the case is. I think that that would, that, you know, everything has its flaws, but I think it would work better than what we have it now to the point where anybody can just play anybody because to be honest with you, there's no competition unless I'm playing against other YouTubers or whatnot. And I want to bring the competitiveness back into park. And I think that's one way to do it or playgrounds, whatever they want to call it. Now, all the stores and stuff like that, that they have, those are all cool. I mean, whatever they want to add there. That's not really, I don't really care about any of that. To be honest, it's all about the gameplay to me. That's what makes the game good. Um, obviously, a lot of people will like Pro-Am, and Pro-Am has a competitive side to it, and that's because, you know, people are actually good that play Pro-Am. So I think that, and also there's, you know, a ranking system on Pro-Am off of, you know, reps, but that, I mean, that's pretty much like winning games. Maybe you could do something like that, take the same Pro-Am system and put it into park. I know a lot of people say, you know, you want to play park just casually, just play around, have arcade type play. Now I think that maybe they should just distinguish, you know, if you want to play casually, you can play on the lower level courts. If you want to play competitively, you play on the higher ones. It doesn't take anything away from anybody, but for those who want to play competitively, it's, it's an option. Let me know what you guys think. 
I like the feedback I got in the last video. A lot of you guys liked the idea. A couple of you guys didn't, but that's to be expected with different ideas like that. And also, the way. Nine on one, Shelby Drive. Look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side.